delicate chapter here. Remember the exporting of America debate. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it started with the German companies. <laughs> yes, madam. Um, I'm just curious. Does Romania have its own stock market or anything? Sure, sure we do. We, we have our own uh, stock market for some years and um, a clone of, uh, of uh, the uh, NASDAQ, which is called the RASDAQ, uh, probably not uh, equally uh, performing, but uh, rather vibrant for, for some years again. Yeah. And then second part to the question? Yes, but please don't elaborate on this because it's not my turf. All right, all right. <laughs> Just a quick question. I'm not sure I go the uh, the um, uh, right uh, direction of uh, of your your question. We're we're of course working very hard to improving the business uh, uh, climate in in Romania. Uh, we we are working irrespective of uh, a natural wish of ours to do this for our own own sake. We're we're in addition having to cope with the pressures of the nearing of EU membership, which will mean entering into the competition policy rules of, uh, of the EU. Um, very little, if any, uh, state aids, uh, state subsidies that would be uh, possible, we would uh, possibly get. So uh, we're, we're working very, very hard in uh, making sure that uh, Romanian companies, which may, may seem productive today, and competitive today uh, will uh, will not get burned once they will operate inside the single uh, uh, internal market of the European Union. You will have more and more costs then. You would have to add up the costs of, uh, of aligning to environmental standards, which are expensive. You will have to add to this the social labor-related costs, so you have to, to even improve your, your competitiveness. I think you mentioned the red, ta red tape and, and corruption at the, the beginning. Yes, it's in the end that we were given. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd be very, very pleased to, to uh, take up some specific, uh, specific uh, queries you might have in, in that area. Yes, please. Several weeks ago, there was a, uh, an article in the Times, a very complimentary article, regarding Romania's uh, success in its long battle against uh, AIDS. Um, but toward the end of the article, there were some individuals in Romania who said that, that this success may be short-lived, that as some of the children who have been infected grow up, this may again uh, explode into a, a, a major national crisis. Uh, how optimistic are you that, that they can continue the success that they've had against this Disease. Well, in the first place, I'm, I'm very glad you noticed the, the article. And my, my friend here, Mark Meyer, who is uh, the president of the Romanian-American Chamber of, of Commerce, but in the first place a true friend, a close friend of, of Romania, is uh, sending me, as a true friend should, uh, the uh, press uh, review of, the, of every day. And uh, I can, uh, I can uh, sometimes, um, I experience sometimes difficulties to find positive articles about, uh, about Romania. It seems that uh, we are going to, to get in a better position after long, long uh, battles addressing uh, many, many challenges. This, this was an article that was very fair. Um, however, I, I must confess that I didn't get to the end of it, so extensive it was, unusually extensive it was for, for newspapers like New York Times. Um, this, um, this is a success uh, story in the sense that, of course, uh, we were not able to completely er eradicate HIV AIDS in Romania, but we started from the specifics of, uh, of the phenomenon in Romania, which, m which means that uh, the hardest hit are, for, for some, some reasons that remain obscure to me, um, uh, children, newborns, new, newborn uh, babies. In some cases, without without having uh, uh, known parents that that uh, are infected themselves, um, so uh, it was rather 
very targeted uh, the the approach that uh, that the government needed to take, and it it was wise enough to engage very uh, soon in uh, international public private partnerships and. Uh, uh, the bulk of these success stories is being able to provide for the basic uh, retroviral um, uh, drugs that, uh, that these kids uh, need in order to at least uh, keep, the, uh, keep the, the, the terrible disease on, on hold. Um, by a subsidi uh, subsidy we got from, uh, uh, I, I only remember one of the major companies, pharmaceutical companies that was involved in this, and that was Merck, Vice President, the former uh, Secret uh, Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright. So I think that the root problem of, uh, the root problem was, uh, was addressed by way of this, this program. So although we, we need to keep our fingers crossed, I, I don't believe in a, in a recurrence of, uh, of uh, this as, at a significant uh, scale. Thank you for, for noting the article. Well, it would be nice if we could single out uh, a single uh, problem, uh, uh, only one, one problem. Uh, we were, were saying, uh, we were aware for, for a long time that our problem was that everything is a priority in Romania. So you have to prior prioritize priorities. Uh, the, um, relating to, to the, the, the previous uh, question and, and my answer to, to this, I would say that, uh, that we have a big image problem, and uh, that's very difficult to, to address. Um, some, of the, some of it is, is uh, backed by, by realities which are of a comparable, of a bigger uh, scale and, and degree of concern than in other countries. In some other cases, this is just uh, stereotypes that, uh, that were formed immediately after the, the change of, of regime in Romania. And, and are there to, to stay, apparently. It is very difficult to counter that. I'm, I'm doing my best. Some other colleagues are doing that. A lot of people from outside the, the government, especially from, from cultural area, are, uh, are um, making their, their, doing their utmost. Uh, well, of course, not with a view of changing the image of Romania, but that's what they do in the process of, of uh, delivering their, their, uh, their art. I would say this is uh, this uh, subjective perception that is is uh, seems to accompany every undertaking that uh, we're contemplating uh, is uh, is the most difficult uh, challenge. Otherwise, on a more down to earth uh, scale, I think we uh, we have um, like uh, all the other acceding countries to the European Union a big challenge in reforming the administration. Um, in strengthening its, its capacity in order to, uh, for it to become interoperable with the kind of administrations, civil services that EU countries or the United States uh, has. Uh, and this is taking, taking a long time. Madam? Uh, during the recent Iraq war, there was discussion about moving some of the U.S. bases, the military bases, into Romania out of Germany or other countries closer to the trouble spots. Would there be opposition, internal opposition to that? Uh, in general, I understand that Romania was open to the suggestion, but I wonder if there's internal opposition. There is no direct connection between the what you term the most recent uh, uh, Iraq war. Uh, and uh, this idea of relocating American military presence uh, from um, Central Europe, from Germany and, and other countries uh, uh, eastwards. Uh, these were plans that, uh, that were, were forged a long time uh, before the, the Iraq war, the, Iraq, the military operation on Iraq was, was even contemplated. And they have to do with, uh, uh, I, I would say, in the first place, with strategic, uh, strategic concerns. It's not moving, in the first place, it's not moving military bases from here to there. They are not going to be military bases in the like of uh, huge uh, um, huge military camps like, like in Germany, which are surrounded by entire cities because 
the American